The data resampling analysis calculation tool maps a signal to a new user's specified sample rate. Several mapping mode options allow you to customize the resampling calculation. The tool also allows you to identify the sample rate of the input channel. In this tutorial, you will resample a DATAM example vibration signal to consist of 2.5 times the sample rate and number of samples from the original. Note that this signal will also be used by the FFT Power Spectral Density tutorial. The Signal Mask tutorial demonstrates how to manually convert a signal to a sampling rate of 1 kHz and to convert the resulting waveform signal back to a numeric channel with a corresponding explicit time channel. Activate the Navigator Panel. Clear the data portal using the Navigator Panel menu, File, New. Load the DATAM example file Harmonic Cursor, TDM. In the data portal, rename the channel group from Vibration to FFT1PSD by selecting the channel group then in the Properties window below under Base Properties, edit the field to the right of Name. Press the Enter key when finished editing the name to commit the change. In the Data Portal, click on the Channel Time, right-click and choose Rename from the pop-up menu. Change the channel name from Time to Time 1, pressing the Enter key to confirm change. Activate the Analysis panel and choose the menu options channel functions. Resampling. In the Resampling dialog, drag and drop the channel vibration from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled Y channels. Drag and drop the channel time one from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled X channel. In the bottom right of the dialog, the sampling rate for the input channel is not shown. This is because the channel, time 1, is not equidistant. The channel, time 1, needs to be corrected to be equidistant before any further analysis may be performed. Click the Cancel button to close the dialog. From the Analysis panel, choose the menu options Channel Functions, Generate Numeric Channels. In the Generate Numeric Channel dialog, set the Channel Generation Mode to Equidistant. Click on the channel, Time 1, in the data portal and adjust the properties window so you can see the minimum and maximum values for the channel. In the Generate Numeric Channel dialog, set the start value to the channel minimum value of 1.979801999999984. Set the end value to the channel maximum value of 5.932040202012. Set the number of values to the channel length of 10,000. Make sure the checkbox Generate Implicit Channel is unchecked. Set the channel unit to seconds by clicking the dot 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 button, setting the quantity property to time. Choose the units option of second and then click the Apply button. Click the Calculate button to generate the channel. Click the Close button to close the dialog. The Generate Numeric Channel dialog created a new channel named Linear Generated. Delete the non-equidistant channel named Time1 by selecting it, right-click on it, and choose Delete from the pop-up menu. Drag the channel Linear Generated to the first channel position in the data portal. Rename the channel Linear Generated to Time 1 by selecting it, right-click on it, and select Rename from the pop-up menu. Set the XY channel's X relation for the channel vibration. Activate the Analysis panel and select the menu option Channel Functions, Channels to XY Channels. Drag and drop the channel time 1 from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled X channel. Drag and drop the channel vibration from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled Y channel. Set the conversion mode option to create channel reference. Click the calculate button to apply the conversion. Click the close button to close the dialog. Activate the analysis panel and choose the menu options channel functions, resampling. 
drag and drop the channel time one from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled X channel. Drag and drop the channel vibration from the data portal to the dialog channel input control labeled Y channels. In the bottom right of the dialog, the sampling rate for the input channel is now shown as 2525.38 Hz. Set the resampling method in the dialog to specify sampling rate. Set the sampling rate of the interpolation channel value to 6313.45 Hz. Set the mapping mode to automatic. Make sure the checkbox anti-aliasing filter is unchecked. Make sure the checkbox store result in original channel is unchecked. Click the calculate button to create a resample channel. Click the cancel button to close the dialog. Rename the channel vibration to vibration 2525 hertz. Convert the channel resampled Y from waveform to numeric. See the tutorial waveform to numeric channel conversion for additional instructions. Rename the channel resampled Y to vibration 6313 Hz. Rename the channel X sampling CHN to time 2. Convert the channel time to from implicit to explicit by selecting it in the data portal. Right click on the channel and choose expand channels from the pop-up menu. Set the X relation for the channel vibration 6313 Hz. You can easily resample a channel to any desired sample rate using the analysis tool resampling. Options are included to allow you to specify the mapping mode used for resampling. The resampling tool always generates a waveform channel. Many of the DATAM analysis tools, such as resampling, require that a numeric time channel is equidistant and doesn't contain no values. Both script and manual methods to determine if a channel is equidistant were presented in this tutorial. The analysis tool generate numeric channel may be used to rebuild a time channel, eliminating any no values and ensuring the channel is equidistant.